All right, let's take a look at an example where we look at gravity and electricity. A distance of one meter separates the centers of two small charged spheres. The spheres exert gravitational force, Fg, and electrostatic force, Fe, on each other. If the distance between the sphere's centers is increased to three meters, so we're tripling the distance, the gravitational force and electrostatic force, respectively, may be represented as. Ah, this is an inverse square law problem again. We have tripled the distance. Because distance is squared, we're going to have a change by a factor of nine. Now, is that going to be nine times greater force or nine, one ninth the force? Well, we're going to have a smaller force because they're getting further away. So, because they're both inverse square laws, our correct answer must be A. One ninth the gravitational force and one ninth the electric force. All right, last problem here. In the diagram below, P is a point near a sphere that has a charge of negative two coulombs. What's the direction of the electric field at point P? Well, the way I would start this sort of problem is if we have a negative charge, let's draw some electric field lines. Electric field lines point in to negative charges. Well, this line is just going to keep going, so it looks like over here at point P, we would have an electric field pointing that direction. So the direction of the electric field at point P would be to the left, as shown right there. All right, hopefully that gets you a good start on electric fields and forces. Thank you so much for your time. Look forward to talking to you soon. Make it a great day, everyone.